Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The latest optional bug fix preview update for Windows 11 KB5012643 is now available. And this latest update started rolling out on the 25th of April 2022. Now, as always, if you'd like to see if you have uh, this latest update available, just head to your settings menu. Head over in your settings menu to Windows Update, where the update will appear in Windows Update as an optional bug fix preview update and I only suggest as I always mentioned and I have in previous videos only install the optional bug fix updates that roll out near the end of every month and um, if you are experiencing any issues and problems on your Windows 11 operating system if you are completely happy how things are running just ignore the update and leave it alone as the update is a preview update which means if you don't install it, a lot of the fixes will be carried over into next month's Compulsory Automatic Patch Tuesday anyway. And if you do decide to install the update, um, you'll have to restart your device after it's installed to apply the update. And um, the update will be listed in update history as cumulative update for Windows 11 KB5012643. Now, this is a bug fix update and is a non-security update which does include a whole list of quality improvements. And just to mention some of those key highlights uh, for you that this update date uh, does fix and address. There are two regarding video subtitles. The uh, first is uh, one where the subtitles were being partially cut off, that has been fixed. And the other is where the subtitles were incorrectly aligned, that has been addressed. And then if you go to the widgets in the bottom uh, left-hand corner of the taskbar, if you hover over it now, you will see that there is now a new display where the temperature now is displayed on top of the weather icon on the taskbar. As you can see in this example, it says widgets 20 degrees sunny. And I've actually found by just fiddling around that you can actually just right click and that'll bring up the, uh, the temperature on top of the weather icon in the taskbar. So that's a little visual upgrade to the widgets in Windows 11. And then the last key highlight to mention regarding KB5012643 is that there was an issue that prevented some users from using the uh, minimize, the maximize, and the close buttons on maximized app windows. And that has also been addressed. Now, as mentioned, this does carry numerous quality improvements. And if you're interested, I'm just going to mention some of those quickly for you in this video. Um, the first was uh, exactly what rolled out uh, for the Windows 10 update as well where there's a new little feature which doesn't change any appearance, uh, any uh, visual appearance uh, in Windows 11. Um, it's just an improvement for the servicing, for servicing the secure boot component of Windows and that was also made available for Windows 10 and now is also being added and is a new improvement for Windows 11 in this update. And then Microsoft say they have addressed an issue that caused the AppX deployment service to stop working after um, users installed certain M6 apps. And then there was an uh, uh, issue that was causing a race condition that occurred early in the startup process of Windows 11 that might cause a stop error. Now, a stop error is a blue screen of death. So if you were getting a sudden blue screen of death while your system was starting up, according to Microsoft, that has also been addressed in this latest update. And then there's been improvements to the autopilot client to process updated trusted platform module, that's TPM capabilities. And then there's also, like Windows 10, the same uh, changes rolled out in Windows 11. There's been changes. Uh, it changes the timeout for Azure Active Directory registration from 60 minutes to 90 minutes. And then another uh, um, issue that was addressed in Windows 10 um, has also now been addressed with uh, Windows 11. And this was mainly pertaining to point-of-sale terminals where users were experiencing uh, startup delays um, of up to 40 minutes. So that's quite a major bug that's been addressed for uh, point of sale terminals where their systems could take almost up to 40 minutes in some cases to start up. And there's then there is a memory leak issue that's been addressed that affected the Windows uh, uh, 11 system, um, system that were in use for 24 hours each day of the week. So that has been addressed as well for systems that were on uh, for 24 hours a day. Um, for the course of a whole week. And then the last two to mention uh, for this uh, latest optional bug fix update is that um, it addresses an issue that affected the title attribute in 
Microsoft Edge Internet Explorer mode. And then also the last one is Microsoft say they've addressed an issue that caused uh, Windows 11 to go into BitLocker recovery after a servicing update. And then, uh, like all the updates, um, there's also been improvements uh, to the servicing stack, which is the comp component that installs Windows updates on Windows 11. And if you have installed the update, um, the latest OS build now for the stable version of Windows 11 will be OS build 22000. Point six five two. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.